So here's the, here's the major issue here. When most people look at food, they look at food in terms of calories. And so over here on the right, we have a chicken breast with the skin on it. And then over here on the left, we have a donut. Now, you as professionals, you have to start looking at, and we have to start looking at the information that food is sending to our bodies. And what I mean by information, I mean is that every single time you eat, besides the calories that you are taking in, you are sending signals to your physiology. Signals that say, get full and feel satisfied quickly, stay full for longer, be in a good mood or a bad mood, have high energy or low energy, have cravings later. So here's the thing, the first thing that we need to understand and the first sort of paradigm shift we need to clue our clients into is that if we eat this donut or we eat this chicken breast, it may be surprising, but they actually have the same number of calories, right? You could eat the donut, you can eat the chicken, you're getting 250 calories. But the information sent by that donut and by that chicken breast is completely different. What is the difference? Well, there's a lot going on, right? Obviously, there's macronutrients like fat, carbohydrate, and protein. There's differences in micronutrients, things like zinc and magnesium and vitamins and minerals and things like that. But the biggest influence on our hormonal metabolism, which we're going to get into in a minute, has to do with these ratios of fat, carbohydrate, and protein. And so what I want you to look at, the difference here is in the donut, we got 20 grams of fat, chicken breast, 11 grams of fat. Carbohydrate, 18 grams and 2 grams for the chicken breast. And then look at the difference here in protein. 2 grams of protein versus 37 grams of protein. Now, here's the interesting thing because in the 80s, it was all about avoiding fat. In the 90s, it became all about avoiding carbohydrate. And now in the 2000s, it is really becoming all about, and this is just the beginning, but people are always talking about don't overdo protein. Well, here's the interesting thing. We don't want to overdo any of these, really. You, they, we want these in balance. But of all these macronutrients, it's the protein, and it's the protein in this chicken that is making it give us sustained energy, balanced hunger, and absent cravings. And that's how you want to look at food. So the first thing you want to look at is, okay, if I don't look at calories, then how do I measure the effect of food? Well, you measure the effect of food by these three things. How hungry does this food make me feel after I eat it? Am I satisfied quickly or not? Does this food lead to compensatory cravings later? And does it sustain my energy? So here's the question for you and your clients. If you had to go all day through this seminar and you can only have one of these two foods in the morning and that's it, a donut or a chicken breast, which is going to make you feel full for longer, give you less cravings and balance your energy? And I think all of us would agree that that chicken breast is going to be the choice to keep us stable. So what we want to be thinking about with our clients is not just what meals do while you're eating that meal, but what those meals do after you finish eating. Believe it or not, what you eat for breakfast is going to impact what you eat, what you want to eat, and what you crave, and how much you eat for lunch. It will even impact what you eat, how much you eat, and what you want or crave for dinner. And so this idea that meals are sort of mutually exclusive and don't impact one another simply is not true and is something that we have to begin to teach our clients. So from now on, you don't want to just think about donut or chicken breast, oh, it doesn't make a difference because of the calories. You want to think of hunger, cravings, and energy and the impact that food has on those.